Tank TV live across the globe. Hello, everyone. Mm. Oh, just getting a nice cup of uh, cup of coffee there. But listen, nice to see you all. Um, it is. Do you know the strange thing is, right? I do these live shows, and many people are like they're not live. <laughs> it's um, half past seven almost. Bank holiday Monday. And if you're just joining me, hello, good to see you. So today I'm dealing with septic tank installation. Lots and lots and lots of people asking me about um, how easy is it to install your own septic tank and soakaway system. And that's a very, very good question. And although I've done quite a few videos on this, um, not many people, if they've just come to my site or just getting to know me or whatever, obviously they don't see the septic tank installation videos that I've done. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So let's get straight into this. Ba -ba -bum. All right, there we go. Okay. So this is, um, if you've just joined me for the very first time, um, sorry, I'm being rude. Um, I'm Jason from septictank.co.uk. Um, I do live broadcasts two, three times a day. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, Twitter, stuff like that. So you can just click the link and watch me live. Or if you can't watch me live, can't watch all of it live, then you can do a rerun. You know, you can you can watch it again. But listen, let's get straight on with this for you. Okay. So I'm going to show you an amazing um, septic tank and soak away system. When I say amazing, there's lots of good products out there. Okay. And it's just, if you've got the right situation, you've got the right environment, you've got the right place, then this particular septic tank and soak away system I'm about to show you will save you a lot of money, save you a lot of time, save you a lot of hassle. And um, this building regs approved. So let me show you this. So here we go. I'm going to show you now live, right? How to install your own septic tank and subway. Just let me have one more bit of coffee here, please. Mm. All right. So let's say this is your typical house. Let's, um, let's, let's, let's zoom in here. Okay. So let's say this is your typical house and let's say you've just bought it for whatever reason, right? And you want to put a new septic tank and soak away in. All right, have a look at this. This is how easy it is to um, to do. So the first thing you need to do is dig yourself a trench. Okay, that's quite simple, isn't it? Quite a simple thing to say. Obviously, the length of the trench differs from house to house, um, but basically, the trench will. Um, lead off your um, soil pipe. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna put in this trench at the moment, but to give it some context, the next thing you need to do is dig a little hole for the septic tank. So let's just dig a hole. There we go, look at that. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more what all this is about in a minute, but uh, basically is a hole in which you're gonna put your septic tank in. And from there, we've got the trench. So what goes in the trench? Well, let me show you this. Let me show you what goes in the trench. There we go, look at that. How, how simple is that? There we go, so we've... Wow, did you hear that airplane? Sounds like... Um, World War II bomber or something going over. Anyway, okay, so in this trench, you put a standard four inch orange underground pipe. That goes in the trench there. And um, that, as I said, is connected to your soil pipe. So basically everything that's gonna come down this pipe is gonna be stuff from your toilet, your bidet, your shower, your washing machine, everything, your sink, everything comes, comes down this pipe, all right? And then at the end of the pipe, you're gonna put, let me take away this grass, I'll give you a bird's eye view. All right, this is a cutaway section now. In this hole here, you're going to put away, you're gonna put away, you're gonna put in a tank. There you go, look at that, all right? So that is a typical um, bullet 
septic tank. They call a bullet septic tank because they're very shallow. What that means is, well, you know what shallow means. Some tanks are very tall. This is very shallow, which means that um, compared to, say, the onion-style septic tanks, oh, excuse me, got itch there. What that basically means is, is that like an onion tank can take a day or two days to put in and you've got to concrete them. Whereas the onion, uh, whereas the low profile septic tanks here, the shallow dig bullet septic tanks, they take about 40 minutes, an hour to get in and you don't need to backfill them with concrete. You can just literally uh, backfill with some shingle, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Hmm. So you've put your pipe in the trench, You've got your tank there, so what next? Well, have a look at this. You dig another little hole just after the tank. Look at that. And you'll notice here, we've got the outlet pipe for the tank. And that's important because on that outlet pipe, you're going to put your pipe. All right, so there's your outlet pipe from your pipe. That's pretty straightforward so far, isn't it? So can you see how easy it is so far to do this septic tank installation? And then at the end of that outlet pipe, it's very simple as well, you put an inspection chamber. Look at that. And that's what it looks like. So these are, I call these German inspection chambers because um, they're very sturdy. And um, they almost act like a, 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 a trap in the sense that they stop any debris like um, sanitary towels and baby wipes, nappy stuff like that. And then this is this is the the piss to resistance, the cherry on the cake. This is right. What you do now, you dig another little hole. Look at that. All right, so you dig another little hole. There it is. There, and. Now, now, I just want to stop at this point and show you something. Can you see how shallow these holes are, right? And it's all down to this. Do you see how shallow the outlet pipe is on the septic tank? And that's very important because on the onion tanks, the outlet pipes can be like a meter below the grass. Can be more, that's a minimum kind of depth. The deeper you go, you know, three meters, four meters, five meters, you're going to have a hell of a job with the soak away. Because the deep down you go, the more resistance you get to the percolation, to, to it draining away. So the nearer it is to the grass, or the nearer the soak away is to where the grass is growing in the topsoil, the better, the easier um, that the liquid, the soak away liquid, will drain away. Okay. So that was just. Uh, a point I just wanted to point out to you. Um, I'm sorry if I digressed, but it's an important point, you know. So we've got our, our we've got a little um, ready-made. It's almost in the shape of a square, isn't it? And this is what's fantastic here. Have a look at this. All that you do is put some membrane down. Now, if you're wondering. What do you mean membrane? Well, this particular um, septic tank and soak away I'm showing you is a kit that, yes, we sell at uh, septictank.co.uk. You don't have to buy one. I'm just saying it's a kit form. You get the tank, you get the pipes, you get the inspection chamber, and you get the septic tank soak away crates, and you get the membrane that comes free with it. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a bit. But if you wondered where this membrane, and um, once you put the membrane down, all right, then all that you do is start laying the crates on top of the membrane. Really is as simple as that. This is the, the scientists that designed these septic tank um, crates for Sogoys. Just fantastic. Just have a look at how, how brilliant is that. Let's just give you a little... Um, twirl on that all right it's just so fantastic such a great invention and then what you do next is that you connect the pipe from the inspection chamber to the crates there you go 
And on the crates, you'll find that like there's a little um, hole that you can cut out with a hacksaw. Or if there is no hole, some there, on some there are, some there isn't. It doesn't matter. The point is you just make a little slight hole with a saw and just put the push the pipe in, push the pipe in a foot, two foot, something like that. Mm. God, that coffee's nice. And that's it. That's pretty much your soak away done. Now, this will have taken you up to now. Taking your time, about two, two and a half hours, something like that. And then once you've done that, you just cover it with membrane. So I'm going to zoom out now. And I'm going to show you what it looks like from an aerial view. Okay. There we go. Look at that. So that is what the septic tank and soak away look like. Look at that. How amazing is that? All right, so it's literally um, the components. So let's just have a look at the components, right? So I'll just run through it slowly. So we've got the trench that you've done from the house. So the components literally comprise of the pipe, pipe work, the tank, the inspection chamber, and the crates and the membrane. Now, what's amazing about this is that I um, let's just let me go on to here. I'm just going to bring another. It's going to bring another screen up here. All right, and um, let me explain what I'm doing. So, um, if you want to are interested in getting yourself a septic tank soak away kit, just go to septictank.co.uk. There we go. Look at there's my site there, and you'll notice here. It's a septic tank and soak away kit. Yeah, that's right. And it includes, let's just get this up now. Oh, I've made it quite big here so you can see, but um, there you go. So it includes the pipes, the inspection chamber, the tank, and the soak away. And so I've done them. Um, so let's just click on there. And there you go. So I've done them according to the number of bedrooms, like whether you've got one to two bedrooms, three to four bedrooms, five to six bedrooms. So let's just click on the small one here. And so um, it's bank holiday Monday, so it's uh, a bit slow loading up. So I'm just gonna have my little bit, rest of my coffee here. Oh. All right, so there we go. So there is septic tank and soak away kit, which I've just shown you. So there you go, the septic tank and soak away kit for one to two bedrooms. It's uh, the tank and um, is the EN 12566-1 certificated. So that's cert certified. So that means it's fully compliant with, with UK building regs, as is the um, septic tank soak away crates. Just wanted to, to let you know, um, you can't use rainwater crates for a septic tank and soak away. Many people do. They try and save a couple of hundred quid and get themselves some rainwater crates, but they just don't work. Um, you can't use them and you'll find that if you do try to use them, the membrane is not suitable and they will just balloon and break down a few months down the line. So if you're gonna put crates in for your septic tank, then you need septic tank crates, okay? So there's a little video there you can watch. But um, so what do you get with the kit then? Well, you get a shallow dig septic tank. You get five times three meters of pipes with the connectors. So you don't need any connectors floating around. Just literally, they've got male and female ends on. Just clip them together. Get the inspection chamber, a German inspection chamber, no less. And on this particular one, you're getting eight septic tank crates. So there you go. You're getting your pipe. You're getting your German inspection chamber. You're getting the um, septic tank and you're getting the septic tank crates. And you've got some dimensions there. That's what the crates look like. And it's um, and so this is the best thing. For a one to two bedroomed house, the septic tank and so quick, kits like 1499. These prices were unheard of. I mean, the way I've done it, I've kept the prices down. I mean, who'd have thought you could have had a septic tank and soak away? 
for like under 1500 quid. It's nuts, but you know, every little helps and that's why I do them. So that's why they're so cost effective. So there you go. So that's my site, septictank.co.uk. You can buy the tanks individually. You can buy the soak away kits individually and uh, sewage plants. So that's a um, topic for another day. But just getting back to um, to this. So there you go. So that is how to put the septic tank and soak away. And just one thing I wanted to show you with the septic tank, how easy they are to install. So I'm just going to take away the grass again for a minute um so we've got a cross section there okay septic tank's really easy to install literally as you can see in the middle of it it's got a lifting eye so just put it in the hole and then once it's in the hole you literally right this is how easy it is just put some shingle around the hole just put some shingle around the sink look at that it's as simple as that 20 to 30 mil shingle Bam, job done, man. So easy it is. Uh, so let me just put the grass back now. So this is just a cutaway section. Um, the grass is normally always there, just taken up way so you can see it a bit easier. So there we go, we got the shingle in the hole, look. So let me show you how easy it is to, um, to cover over. with. So all you do is cover all over with soil. And then you can turf it or seed it, depending on what's easiest for you. So let's just fill it back in. So there you go. That's what it looks like covered. Now, the septic tank soak away crates have got a, a, bear, uh, a bearing, weight bearing load of about 20 tons. So literally drive a tank over them, you know. So once you've done that, all you need to do then is put the soil around the inspection chamber. Look at that. Right. Then, as I said, with the low profile tank, once you've done that, just cover that over with um, soil. <sighs> Job done. And then, last but not least, we've got the trench that leads to the house. Just fill it in. There you go. It's as simple as that. And look how neat it looks when it's done right. Oh. What's going on there sorry look how neat it looks i mean you don't have to have it outside your front door there right you don't have to have it there. it's just a an illustrate you know, just done that as an illustration for you but um you could do they got pre pedestrian uh weighted lids so you know you, and the child proof lid so your kids can't get in there but i just wanted to show you how they blend into the garden you know so look at that. So there you go. So and that, if you're asking me, is one of the best septic tank and soakaway kits on the market today. So that's it. That's the end of the live broadcast. I just wanted to give you a tip, show you how easy it is to replace or to install a new septic tank and soak away. Um, if you want more information, then just go to septictank.co.uk. Oh, look at that. It's, it's there behind me. Look, it's, it's floating above my head. Just go to septictank.co.uk. Um, I've showed you a bit of my website before. Let's just get that up just while we're finishing here. There it is. So septictank.co.uk. And just one thing to tell you, if you have got a septic tank already, right, then please, 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 right or get one of these forms here on the 1st of jan 2020 all the rules and regulations for septic tanks are changing up and down the country this will help this is these are this is right let me just click on this and i'll show you all right so you're going to see a lovely picture of me in a minute holding a form all right but it's that form that can save you thousands of pounds and help to make your septic tank um compliant all right, let's just make the picture small. So there's a video there. You can press play. All right, I won't win any Oscars. To watch this video. On the 1st of January 2020, the UK government are introducing a whole new set of rules and regulations for septic tanks and sewage treatment plants. It's called the septic tank ban. Yeah, okay. So it's called the septic tank ban. But the point is, 
is if you just there's got a lot of information you can read it and watch the video in your own time but this is the point get yourself a free government compliance form they're free don't want any money off you there's no con there's no catch doubt put your name and your email address in there or then send you a government compliance form right and download download three of them one in your utility room put one uh lodge one put one in your kitchen and lodge one with your solicitor when you come to sell your property it'll save you thousands and thousands of pounds and um yeah and that's it and it will help to make your septic tank compliant before the first of jan 2020 so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch my live broadcast today um oh, doesn't time go quick it's it's monday God, look at that, it's almost 10 to 8 now. So, um, but look, I hope that's helped you. That's why I do these live broadcasts because I, I just like helping people. That's why I'm in the septic tank business. It, it, every little helps, to be honest. So, if that's helped you or the septic tank government compliance form has helped you, then if you see me, uh, I gladly accept pints of nice beer or even Jack Daniels and Co. wouldn't go miss. But listen, thank you very much for watching this and uh, you take care and um, I'll speak to you soon.